Hi guys, this is a tutorial on how to make an animated GIF image out of a video file. Okay, first you're going to need those three programs that I gave you the link to in the description. The first one's going to be KM Player, the second one's going to be Photoscape, not Photoshop, Photoscape, and Free Online Image Editor. Um, KM Player you need to download and Photoscape you need to download. Once you've done that, first thing that you need to do is you need to get your video file ready. For the purposes of this animation, we are going to open True Blood Episode 4-2. We're going to open it with the KM player that you've already downloaded. As soon as it starts, press pause. Okay, now you're going to right click and scroll down until you see capture. Now, if you have just downloaded KM Player and have never used it before, more than likely this option is not going to be presented at first. You're going to need to go to options and click advanced menu. Once you've clicked that, then you will have the option to capture. Okay, so go to capture, go to frame extract and you need to choose a file before you've done this you need to go ahead and create a file that is just for the caps that you are making for the, for your video and by caps that that means captures and that basically just means still shots of your video so prior to this you need to have already created that and you're going to open that particular file so that all your caps go into one place. That way they're not all scattered about and they're not mixed in with a bunch of other things because it can get really confusing. Now while that is opening, taking forever, um, you need to make sure that everything else is set. Everything should pretty much be set, but just to make sure your format needs to be JPEG middle, um, digits for, method, it really doesn't matter, but... Um, okay. Never mind. Now, where I clicked open folder and it took forever, it finally opened. It's going to open to capture under your KM player, but you don't want to do that. I mean, you can if you want, but again, you should have already chose a file and for me, I have a file under my documents called all screen caps and underneath that, um, I have several files. Um, I erase them after I've used them because I need the space, but for these purposes, I'm going to click new folder, which is empty, and OK, and it's going to take, OK. Now, like I was doing before, method needs to be only video image, but I've done both and it really doesn't matter, but just go ahead and do the only video image. Numbers to extract continuously. Um, you can do original size or specified size. It's up to you. If you do specified size, I would not go any smaller than 700. Um, it will affect the quality of the animation and the quality of the caps. Okay, you, your frames to extract um, needs to you need to click in this area in one second. Now, what this means is you can adjust this. It needs to be between 15 and 20 frames. What this is is that it's going to capture 20 frames per second and it's going to do that for the entire time that you are recording. Um, if you do 15, that's okay, but I've run into a couple problems where I've had blurred images and it can get choppy. So it's better to do 20 and you don't have to use all of them, but you have the option. Okay, so you've got that set, everything set, and you want to go to start. Now when you press start, your time's going to start, but your frames are, have not started yet. They're not going to start until you press play. So let's go ahead and do that. Press play. Now I'm going to press stop because I don't need to cap this. I've already capped it. But if you were capping, then you need to go ahead and just let it play through the entire episode or movie or whatever, or however long that you want it. Um, if you're just doing the beginning of an episode and, and that's all you need, then just do it for however long and then press, press pause. Um, it only caps when it's playing. So if you press pause, it's not going to continue to cap. It's going to continue to run like it's doing now, but not cap. So just be aware of that. 
and now for these purposes we are done with this so I'm just gonna get out of this alright now we have our caps and we're going to open up one of the programs that you've already downloaded Photoscape um, okay you want to go to animated gif okay now um, this is all of your files on your computer basically that's all right here um, you want to go to the file that you created your caps in I went ahead and created a file just for this tutorial that only contains the caps I'm going to use for the animation just to save time okay I'm going to leave that out and I'll explain that later now what you do is you click on a picture and then you press control hold control down and click on all the pictures that you want to have in this animation sometimes you don't know and you have to just press a couple and then click and drag them over into your work area but I know I want all of these in here so I'm clicking all of them this will be an animated gif of Suki and Eric from Tree Blood okay you um, you highlight all those items and then you click and drag over you don't have to press control to do that actually you you don't need to um, and then it'll pull everything up all those caps will come up here in the top and as you can see it will start to animate here are your frames and there's a few things you need to know change time um, I already had this preset to 13 seconds for this animation because I knew that's what it was I mean excuse me 0.13 seconds um, but you can uh, you can change this to 8 make it go faster or you can make it go slower obviously go to something like 20 and you just need to watch it and see if it's what you want for these purposes I know I want 13 so now here you can change your canvas size um, generally I like to go with something 500 not 599 500 about 200 okay and um, but you can change that to be whatever you want change effect this is if you're creating a different type of animation I'm just going to show you one option slide down well obviously we don't want that for these purposes so we're going to use no effect um, if there was a frame in here that you did not want that that you accidentally clicked and um, dragged over then you would click it and go to this X and delete that if there was more than one then you could click it press control click the other one and delete that if you wanted to just delete all of them and start over then you would go to this trash can and it would delete all the photos in the list now um, we're gonna go ahead and save because this is exactly what we want so we go to save. Where is it? Here we go. Okay. I've already created one earlier, but let's do it again. I like to get descriptive in mine. It's up to you. Okay. And save. The canvas size is 500 by 200 and it's a total of 21 frames. It's letting you know that. When it's done, it's going to show you the actual size on your computer. Not the physical size, but the size of the actual GIF. Okay, the saved file size is 661.5. Now, if you're using Tumblr and you're creating animations for that, then it has to be below 500. I actually have several Tumblr pages and create an anim animations for that. So if it, if I was doing something like that, then I would need to make this shorter. So I would click and control and click another one, and I would get rid of a couple frames. And I would see if it still made sense, and it does. So now it's shorter, and I can save that. I'm going to cancel that real quick. Um, also, if I wanted to make it smaller or make it less in size, I could go to set the canvas size and make it smaller. 400 by 180, whatever. Okay. So you can see that the canvas size has changed, and, and it went from 19, I mean, it went from 21 frames to 19 frames. 
So we're going to save that again. And we're going to see how much it affected the size. Do we, do we want to replace it? Yes, we do. It was, what, like 600 something? Let's see what it is now. Four ninety eight point four. Okay, so now it would be small enough to go in Tumblr if that's what we wanted. Now let's get out of this because we've created our animation. If you were creating another animation right after this, then you would just go to your delete all photos and lists, yes, and then there you go. You want to make sure you unclick out of here and then you would just go to your next selection. Okay. Now we are going to go to Free Online Image Editor. I love this program. It is simple and easy. It is not fancy. It doesn't do a lot of stuff, but it's great for the basics. Go to Choose File and My Documents, Caps for Tutorial. We want to go to what we just created. Open, Upload. I will do another tutorial on all the stuff that this image editor does, but for these purposes, just choose file, upload. Okay, now as you can see, it uploads and it is animated. Now, if you look over here, you've got all this excess white area on both sides. We don't want that, so we're going to crop that off. This is one of the only programs that I know of that I like that's easy, um, where you can crop animated just like this without having to do it frame by frame or anything complicated. Okay, now we've selected our area and go to apply. Okay, that excess white area is gone now. And you can see that it also went from 198, I mean, excuse me, 498 to 477. So it, it did take down our size, which is relevant if you're doing this for Tumblr or for another program. Um, that requires a certain size. All right, now I like to use this. I like to normalize most of my GIFs because it just makes them look better. But it also makes your size go up generally, so you got to be aware of that. See, it went from what it was to 489, so it did make the size go up, but it did make the the image brighter, and I liked it better. So um, we can save it just like this. Now you could go to, over here to save, but it's just a long way to get to what I'm doing this way. So save image as, go to where your file is, go to what this file is, and save. Do you want to replace it? Yes, you do. Okay, so that's that. Now, if you wanted to add text to an image, I'm going to do another tutorial right after this one in GIMP to show you how to add text to an image when you're adding more than one set of text. They are having a conversation. So she's saying something, he's saying something. If you want that type of text in your animated GIF, then you need to do that in GIMP. If you just want one line, for example, if it was just her talking, then you could go to add text and choose your font. Again, I love this program because it's simple and easy, but and it has a ton of fonts. But they don't show you what they look like, which is really annoying. So you have to go to each one to see what each one looks like. And I already know that for these typical um, animations, I like this one. So I'm just going to go to that. I don't want yellow. I want white. Size, I like 18. So I'm going to go to that. And then I'm going to type in the text. Suki's asking, what do you want from me? Okay, so once you type in your text, then you click over here on the outside, and it, it adds it up here. You go over there, and you slide it down. Okay, so there's the text. You hit apply. It's going to make your size go up, so you need to be aware of that. Okay, anyway, basically you apply, and it applies it. And then you just do what you did before, which was right-click, save image as, and you just save it again. Um, with the text in it. And basically that is how you make an animated GIF image out of a video file. Watch the next tutorial if you want to learn how to add text in the image. Thank you.